Man, y'all, what do I gotta do to get to 2,000 subscribers, man? I mean, damn, man. I can't believe that I ain't hit 2,000 yet. Y'all help me out, man. Get your mother-in-law, your brother-in-law, your cousin, somebody, everybody. Subscribe to the channel, man. Let me get past 2,000, man. Come on, y'all. Okay, y'all, good morning, good morning. Well, it ain't even morning, it's 11. Uh, tell you what, between my own screw-ups, you know, uh, and my own, you know, black tires on trailers and stuff, and the weather, it's, it's making it really hard to make money, man. Because uh, they said it was gonna rain all day today, you know, all morning. And it ain't, I haven't seen a drop of rain yet. And they were saying that it was going to stop raining by about now. So, see, we could have done uh, some work, you know, uh, today. I wasn't, you know, calculating all that. So, I just had a guy call me, and it's just typical, you know, somebody trying to get a deal, and I get it. Uh, he, he got what well, eight pounds of sod he wants to lay and I don't have time and he's right here in my city and I don't have time but he he doesn't want to uh, well he said his, his brother-in-law's coming over there to grade it he just wants to hire some labor to you know to uh, put it down and I'm like well good luck with that man you know, it's gonna be hard to find somebody that that that. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Well, I really don't know. I wouldn't take on no job uh, like that. You know, if I'm not doing all of it. So he said that, the reason I'm telling you all this is because he said that you know he was you know calling around to find you know he left me a message and I called him back blah blah blah. So he was calling around. He said yeah he 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 found one guy that. Uh, said that uh, he would bring three guys over there and they would lay all that saw for four hundred dollars <laughs> I told him I said dude I don't know about that man I don't know about that crap man four hundred dollars to to labor uh, eight pounds of sod He just needs to do it himself. What he should have done is just done a little bit at a time. Get it graded, and then and then him go, you know, him buy a couple pallets a week until it's done and he can lay it. Folks don't wanna, I mean, he, he to me, he's almost in, in La La Land, you know, at $400 for eight pallets. What is that? Is that $50 a pallet? <laughs> hell no and that's why guys like me can't make no money because you got and you know I don't know how solid that dude is can't be too solid yeah that's crazy if you ask me man but anyway yeah so I got another video I got edited I'm gonna post it tonight of the the, the meat uh, trenching all uh, uh, well I probably trenched 40, 60, 80. I probably did about 250 feet of trenching, 300 feet at my house uh, with the mini eggs. So right now what I'm doing, since you know I woke up this morning thinking it was gonna be raining uh, and it wasn't, uh, I went on a low, I got Bobby on here, the power rake on here, and uh, most of the tools we're gonna need over here at this uh, drainage job. And you know, I don't, there's so much I don't know, man. I'm a little bit, you know, still weary, but you know, uh, so. I did a drawing, actual drawing uh, of the layout of the property. And 
the red indicates the existing stuff, okay? And then the yellow is where we're gonna be digging at, and that's it. But it's so sketchy, man, you know, and he doesn't wanna do, he, he, he refused to let me put, he does not wanna do fabric. So I know I'm gonna have a lot of guys come in the comments, I mean, you're supposed to put fabric in there, but he, he refused to do that. He says no. He said his cousin or uncle or somebody told him that fabric is not, is not the way to go. So I'm hoping that he's gonna wanna put these drain boxes in. I got two uh, nine inch drain boxes that I'm gonna put uh, on. Yeah, on this line right here. Y'all see I got a mark on there. So. But we'll go on and I, well, I'll go on and get the bobcat over there. Uh, I may tinker around a little bit if it ain't muddy or nothing. Uh, and then in the morning, I'll, you know, uh, bring the Mini X. Or I might go get the Mini X today and bring it, you know, it's just according to how I, how I feel when I get back. See? It's all screwed up now because I don't have uh, I don't have the gravel anymore because I had to dump it off my trailer because I had a flat tire. And once I dump it off the trailer, I went on to use it in the trench, and y'all see in front of the building. You know, uh, I was I wasn't gonna put uh, gravel in there, not much gravel in that trench. But once since I had to dump it off my freaking dump trailer. You know, I'm like, well, hell, uh, let me go on and make this a semi-trench for drainage, too, you know, for surface water that may, you know, drop down in there. So, but I, I don't know, I, I don't think I need, you know, that much rock, but we're going to see. I, I mean, there's so many things I don't know. I, I don't even, I don't even at the end of the day, y'all, to be honest, I don't even want to do the job, man. But I'm forcing myself to step outside the comfort zone. Because I'd be perfectly fine with uh, renting a Mini X like I did and not doing this job and going and doing a few other little jobs where I can uh, that I know what I'm doing. See, this job over here is going to suck up a bunch of time uh, because I don't know shit. You yeah. know. And I'm pushing myself to do the job even though I don't want to. Uh, yeah. So tomorrow I got, Francisco's gonna help me over here. Uh, I'm thinking about, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make a determination today. I was thinking about having Zach come over here and help uh, too, because it's a, uh, you know, it's it, 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 it's so many unknowns, man. Uh, yeah. So. So in the morning, I don't need. I, I, if I'm only if I send Zach to go do yards, then. I'm gonna need the gravel over here. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, there's a lot. I, I, let me just get over here and get this machine off and get it secured and put up. And then uh, I see why people make a lot of money in the drainage, though. It's a lot of work, man. It, even that little bit of work. I wonder, any of you guys that know, I wonder what someone would have charged me to do that uh, drainage in front of my building yesterday, to do the, you know, where I uh, dug it up, buried the pipe. What would somebody charge for that? How do they charge for that? And what should I do first over here? Should I do the the grading, where we're going to be grading, or the trenching. See, I... 
so I just pretty frustrated about the whole thing, man. Really. Okay, guys. So y'all know I know y'all been over to this property before, but uh, I'm gonna put the my my draw, little drawing my, you know that I made uh, up here in the corner. So this is the top of the driveway, and y'all can see how the water just rushes down through here, and I mean it flies down through here, and you can even see how if you I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can how it looks like the driveway kind of goes a little bit this way. Uh, but our goal is to try to catch this water coming down the driveway but see I'm almost thinking that it looks like it'll come down and if you look at the drawing where the uh, where the yellow is that's where I'm going to be digging so uh I mean, if I was him, I would just take the trench all the way over and I would catch a lot of this water right here. Uh, see, this that's the thing. I don't know what I'm doing, man. And, it's and you know, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, uh, you know, a uh, job for me to do, you know. But look, all this is downhill. It's all flying downhill. So you don't really have to, you know, we're not, it ain't like we're going uphill or nothing. So, a couple of obstacles in the way. Uh, so, if you look at the drawing, and I'll put it up here in the corner, I'm going to go across here, right across this slab here with a trench. And we're not putting dirt back on top of that. That's just going to be a trench with perforated pipe in there and uh, just to help catch that water. But it looks like that that this is right here that there's not it doesn't look like there's a lot of water right there because by the time it comes down the hill it done done this see so you can see look at the ground right there right and look at the ground right here water flies down through here so right here i think and you know what do i know if i was him i would want to put one of them boxes right here to catch this water so right down beside this bed right here he's got a drainage right there but that's in the wrong place see that's not in the right place i mean i guess it'll help but you put another one of them right here right here between you know uh, but the thing is he's got so he's got, I thought he had six inch lines, but he's got four. So four inch lines coming out of the downspouts and you got another downspout. There's a pipe right here and it runs all the way down. Y'all can see, uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to be super careful. Uh, see, he, he wants to tie into this one, to this existing one. See, my thinking is we need to dig down beside it and put another whole another pipe in there a perforated pipe see the pipe that he has in there now is solid it doesn't catch any of this groundwater that's what i'm learning right so the perforated pipe if i if i dig a trench right here and you can't dig it low you can't go deep because well that line is not deep it's right here and he wants to t in or 45 in to wherever this line is right and that's all i dropped so, my thinking is, you now that I'm seeing it with freshly, I see why there's such a problem here. So, that right there is coming off of, where is the drainage? It must be coming from all the way from the front right there, where it comes down into the ground right there. Golly, man, that's a long way for it to be. And he says they work, so. But if we come down through here, right, and it got obstacles in the way, and I'm going to show y'all. All these things right here, you know, we're going to pull these up. Because I don't want to tear nothing up. I can put them back in the ground, I guess. So, uh, 
but to me i think if we could just find that pipe and it's right here i mean it ain't hard to find if we could just find that pipe and dig a dig the trench beside that pipe right you know a perforated pipe and then let it pick up the water coming right here and then come around because we're gonna have to tie in and see you got electric lines look Let's see you got all kinds of obstacles in the freaking way man damn that's why i don't like it that's why i don't want to do it man really uh that looks like a fiber optic line that needs to be marked uh so then, then on top of all that you got the septic tank right here uh and i got a dry i got it on the drawings too uh so the septic tank is right here and you can see it you know so the second trench you know after that little piece right there the second trench we're probably going to start if i'm him i want to start it about right here and then you just go but he does not want fabric so that's a problem you know he wants to put grass on here look at this this is brutal and then you got all this irrigation stuff man but you can see water just flies down through here you see here's that here's that freaking fiber is that a fiber optic line right there look i didn't break it it's already like that right here and then down so see if I'm if, if I'm them him whoever I'm not even gonna see this pipe's not deep enough it could be so much deeper right here because of the slope look at that drop back there now right in here you got uh, there's a uh, well, there's a uh, sprinkler system, but who needs a sprinkler system? I mean, well, I mean, that'd be at least my concern. So, down, and you see, there's that black pipe, the one coming down the hill. So, another thing that he wants to do, uh, and that's the drainage, you know, where we're going to put pipe in. And I mean, I don't see why, why. Why would it, we even cross all of this right here if we don't have to? You can clearly see the water where it runs. You could put one in one of them drop boxes right there. Boy, you'd catch a lot of this, you know. Uh, but see, the problem I'm seeing too is that you come down the hill, right? Well, then you got to overcome the roots on this tree. I said, yeah, the roots on that tree. And I guarantee you those roots are over here where I'm standing at. So, to me, it would just, and there's a lot of stuff you gotta cross. There's an irrigation line in here. You see the two, the two valves right there. And I know there's irrigation right here because uh, uh, we hit it one time when we were, uh, well, he wanted us to, to bury some more pipe and uh we hit it and we had to fix it so i know it's right here somewhere right probably right there where that flag is so but <clears throat> if you try to do a lot here see here's another is that is that the cable see you got this kind of thing everywhere and I didn't do that, just for the record. But it's, I mean, it's friendly once you, get, if you can just get to here, you're freaking gold, man. And whatever pipe he has up there, it ain't working, man. It ain't, I don't know where that pipe's coming from. 
See that pipe right there? That pipe is not working, man. And I know why. I mean, it's probably picking up some water, but it ain't picking up much. This clay's not gonna let the water get through. It's gonna rush across the top of it first. You need to put them boxes in here. This is a perfect job for those boxes because you gotta catch masses of amount, massive amounts of water. There's a lot of water fly down through here, y'all. So, we, I mean, you could just about lay the freaking pipe on the ground and bring a bunch of dirt in here. I mean, but uh, I can tell that they haven't put gravel or fabric around these pipes. And that's why there's such a problem. You see right here, look. I mean, you could just about put lay a gravel bed right there and then just bring a bunch of dirt in. Lay a gravel bed right there, put the damn pipe on, uh, on top of it, and then put uh, cover the pipe up with uh, gravel. You don't have to dig real deep right here. And he wants sod in here, y'all. He wants Bermuda sod in here. I don't think he can get it in here. Too much shade. So this is one part of the job, right? And see, I'm all, I'm seeing a lot of issues here. Uh, and that pipe up there might be working, but it's not. It, 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 you don't have a way for the water to get directly to a pipe. See, see, obviously this doesn't even have gravel on top of it. So, you know, that's, I mean, that's all clogged up and shit. You see, he's tying my hands because he doesn't want to use fabric. And if I knew, if I had not already committed to the job, then I, 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 I probably, you see, I probably wouldn't even do it if I knew better. Uh, Okay, so the reason I brought the power rake is, do y'all see that that big mound right there? It's right between the steps and that tree right there. Y'all see it? It's pretty big. It's a pretty big mound. Uh, and then there's a mound right here about where that flower pot thing is. We just need to come in here with a power rake. Not hardcore, but see what he wants to do. He wants to actually move. It looks like all this dirt, this here, used to be up there and so what he wants to do he wants to use the bobcat to push a lot of this dirt back up the hill but i know that it's going to be a problem because of all the roots i might be able to get some of it right along in here you know but i don't know how far i can go you're not gonna be able to do a lot with those roots anyway that's kind of the job y'all i didn't mean for the video to be so long but y'all see what Ray done got into, and Ray ain't very comfortable with it. There's root right there. See, the roots from this tree, we ain't gonna let you go down far. But the main thing is the water rushing around this wall right here. And, and then sitting in this low spot right here. Once we get that, get that out of there, right? We could actually, there's so much we could do here now that I've seen how, how, the, how this stuff's done. Uh, He wants to actually push this dirt up and build like a small berm to catch some of the surface water but we, so we can steer it on down the hill instead of it coming around this way. So, a lot of ideas, uh, any suggestions, uh, you guys see what I'm talking about. Uh, and I did not tear that up. Uh, and this line right here is in the ground. And y'all see, it's it's it, it's been cut already. So, but you can see where the water is. It should be a pretty easy job, really. The problem is all the freaking shit in the way, man. That's the problem. You need to catch this water before it gets to there. I don't see no point in even. You got to cross it though. You got to go across this way to pick up the water coming down the hill. But if I build it up a little bit right, and then right in, right in some of these ruts, uh, you know, 
put the drain box, put two of them. Because he wants to put grass up here. Dude, we're gonna need a bunch of gravel too, man. Probably about four tons of gravel. Because like I told him, man, I, I don't wanna, I don't even wanna do it if we're gonna be cutting corners and stuff. And not putting fabric and not having enough material, we're cutting corners. And see, I don't like to do that, man, because I want to do it right. You know, uh, and it costs a lot of money, man, to do this kind of thing. It just does. So y'all think, y'all think I need to buy another box, man? Well, I think that you could put a freaking box right here, you know, and catch a lot of that water. They really need one of those uh, drain things that goes across the back of the driveway here. And I may talk to him about that. Uh, he used to have one here, but it wasn't installed correctly. It was terrible. It was cheap. It wasn't done right. But no matter what, you got a lot of water coming down this driveway. And when it gets right along in here, it just flies right up in here. And that ain't big enough. That water just goes right over that, man. You got, you got to, I mean... You gotta have multiple ways to catch the water. Whatever gets a across right here, on down the hill, then you gotta have another another thing. But you can't. There's no point in doing a trench here and catching water, and then doing another one before the septic top. So you gotta go on the other side of the septic top. And you can see how this is a berm right here, right? So this is kind of gonna help us. Uh, I would just about want to put a trench in straight down through there right at the bottom of that berm see that and just go straight down the hell would tying into that man i don't i don't i don't i don't want to tie into that because now i'm tying into something that might not even be working right and another thing too and this is this is what happens you know when you are thinking about what you're doing okay so say I know this video is getting a little bit long. Okay, so y'all see the berm. I just now started seeing that where it's a little bit higher on the edge of this bed. What I would do if I'm him is I would just say, Ray, dig me a straight trench straight down through there, okay? Use this berm to channel the water to my trench. Put a drop box, you know, here and down there, you know, a, 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 a box to catch the surface water as it flies down the hill just about put one right here man but it would overwhelm it on a lot of rain it would overwhelm that but then what you do to me what i would do then is after the trench is dug and it's on we know we got drop i mean <laughs> that's not the hard that, that i mean hell you could do this probably without a freaking tape measure uh but once you got the drop and got it in there right then what you do is you just you if you're not going to use fabric you just put the dig the trench put the uh gravel in the bottom put the pipe in put the gravel on top and just leave the gravel on top that's the way i would do that and then what i would do is i would extend this bed out another three or four feet and then start the grass over here. So then you're not planting grass on top of the drain. That's my thinking. You need, for this kind of drop here, I think, you need, and what do I know, right? You need major, uh, yeah. There's so many things that you could do, though. You could you could catch some of this water right here before it ever even got over to the driveway. You could You could do one right here. And run it straight down the property line. There's ways to stop some of this water. You might not get it all, but you're gonna be able to get a lot of it. So that's the job, y'all. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm making sense because I don't have no experience at this, but I'm fitting to get some. So, <laughs> yeah. Peace out. Okay, so y'all see what I'm into over here. And keep in mind too, that we have had unprecedented rain. Uh, we've had more rain here in the last month 
than we probably had, you know, in a long time. So everything's going to be uh, a lot more, uh, you know, uh, obvious where the water's going than normal. So that helps a, a rookie like me out. So.